Hi, I'm Jason Odell, and what I'm going to talk about today in this processing tip is how to batch your dust spot removal. And this is very useful when you've got multiple images from the same shoot where you've got the same dust spots, or more importantly, when you've got a sequence of images that you're going to merge into an HDR image, and particularly with landscapes, you can see dust spots uh, in the HDR tone mapped image that you just don't notice as much when you look at the original image. So I've brought up an image here that's got a nice clean sky and I can see that there's clearly one or two dust spots here. But what I'm going to want to do is zoom in and find them. So the trick with finding your dust spots is to first make a temporary levels adjustment. So I'm going to go into my levels tool here and it doesn't matter what raw converter you use, you've probably got a levels tool. And you're going to grab this little black point slider on your levels tool and just start dragging it to the right. That's going to really increase the contrast in your image. But what it does is it brings out all these little dust specks. So now when I zoom in, go into 100% and just go over here, now what you can see is I've located a lot more dust spots than I would have otherwise noticed. In fact, if I toggle off that adjustment, you can see that some of these spots just aren't that noticeable. So I'm making this strong levels adjustment. Then I'm going to go to my retouch or healing brush, whichever tool you might have. And I'm just going to go in here and I'm clean out all the dust spots in the image. So once you do that, and it takes a little while, I just find them all. You go through your entire image, scan along, look for the specs. and just zap them all out. Okay, now that I've done that, I can zoom back out and I'm gonna reset my levels adjustment here. Just zero it out. And then the trick is, you can see I've got this auto retouch brush or whatever settings you might have. Um, I'm using Capture NX here. I'm gonna copy these adjustments Go back to the file browser. And here's all the images in the sequence. And now all I need to do is choose paste adjustments. And I'm going to tell it to append the new settings and click OK, click start. And once that happens, I'll batch these all out. Then once I export these images from my raw processor into say TIFFs to merge into HDR, then I've got those dust spots removed in all of the images in exactly the same spot.